Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Today's tip will show you how to get this room color scheme here that you usually have in floor plans only to show up in a 3D view. And the good thing is this one on the right, even though it looks like a 3D view, is still in itself a floor plan view. If I now open the properties box, this is still floor plan level one. And that means it stays in sync with all your changes to room color schemes and so on. So if I go in here and select this room, for example, you can see it's highlighting up there, this one as well, and also this one. If I want to change some colors in my room color scheme here, both views should update. Let's show that quickly. I can go to color scheme now and maybe change the color of my living room to something else like purple. Click OK. And you can see it updates in both views and also in my room color legend. That's the living room there. All right, let's see how we can get this happen. Firstly, let me just undo that change. I don't want to see this dreadful purple color any longer. There we go. Now, let's close this view for now and let's see how we can recreate it. The first step is to make sure you can create in your floor plan two perpendicular sections. So let's make the first one, maybe along this kitchen. And the second one, perpendicular to the first one, maybe looking this way. Okay, I can now go ahead and open these new section views. So this one first, back to floor plan, and then open the second one. It's time now for us to see all of them at the same time. So I can now go to the view tab and click on tile views. Zoom to fit in each of them. Make sure I can see the whole building there. Nice. It's time now to ensure you have an active crop boundary applies to your plan view. If I zoom out now, I don't see the crop boundary anywhere. That means it's not activated. Let's go to properties and then tick crop view as well as crop region visible. And now that's what I need. We can now select this crop boundary and while still having it selected, switch to section number one. Make sure you don't lose your selection. Yeah? And now go in here, do a rotation command. Click on rotate. And now you can go maybe from left to right by 22.5 degrees. You may ask why 22.5? The goal is to make this floor plan looking as if it is a 3D external metric view. And for external metric view, usually we look at the building at an angle of 45 degrees. So to make this conversion happen, we need to divide that 45 degrees by two. That gives you 22.5 degrees and do the same rotation of 22.5 degrees twice, once in section one, and then another time in section two. So this is the first rotation. Let's accept this angle there and check our floor plan. It could be correct, but if I keep going like this, I'll be looking at the building from the back, from this direction towards the building. Maybe that's what you want, but I'm actually trying to look at the building from the front, from this open area there. So let's rotate this view again, but in the opposite direction, I can go now to undo this rotation. Select the boundary again, but this time in section one, instead of rotating from left to right, I'll go in the opposite direction from right to left by the same degrees, 22.5. And now it looks better. You see, I'm seeing this wall, for example, from this open area. I can see the windows on it now. So we're good to go. Let's select now this crop boundary one more time and go to section two for the second rotation. Go to rotate. And again, it's a bit of a trial and error. We need to do maybe from left to right first by 22.5 degrees again and see how it goes. In this case, it's actually correct. I'm looking at the building now from this area just like I want it. So it's time now to maximize our floor plan again. 
just go to view tap views and change to level one here we go now we need to make sure the angle we look at the building is optimal and it's not there yet we need to now rotate this boundary in this floor plan by 45 degrees maybe from right to left well that's wrong let's undo the rotation do it again but now from left to right by 45 degrees and there you have it looking just like the view we had at the beginning now let's make this a bit more presentable I will turn off room reference lines you know these cross marks that is now all over the place they are room references let's turn them off okay and maybe turn on shaded view make it better to see it's a bit dark at the moment maybe lighten it up a bit from lighting increase ambience light and turn on some shadow that's a bit dark there let's return this and change shadow to 10 percent or maybe 20 all right so we have the room legends in 3d but if you want to make this view even more presentable if you look closely there are certain annotation elements are still there because this view at the end of the day is still a plan view that's why you see here annotation for the section of this stair that is beyond the view range and same goes for this railing there it's showing in dash lines its portion beyond the view range so a few more steps to turn those off under the stairs category turn off anything to do with above above annotations we don't need for now and also this line here this zigzag line that's a cut mark i can turn that off as well looking great we're in the right direction let's do the same just for rowlings same thing like before turn off everything to do with above and that should be it another limitation with this approach is you can see your doors and windows in their entirety even though you know they should be cut in this plan view it's just the way those elements categories work with plan views so a workaround is this just go to override graphics in views by category and then make them transparent for now maybe by 40% just so you can see clearly your room color scheme and if you are bothered because of those solid curtain panels that's a quick way to make them transparent as well just go back to VV and the filter let's add another filter by curtain panels I'll call this one all curtain panels yes apply this to the curtain panels category and there's no rule you have to select or set because the only rule now is just selecting these elements by their category add this to the list now and then override that transparency to maybe 60 percent okay all right we're almost there the final step now is to fix this weird shadow if you zoom closely to this area the shadow seems to be stopping halfway through the walls height and that's because we have something not going right in our lighting setting if I go to graphic display under lighting Sun settings I can see the ground plane is now set to level 1 for shadow just untick that and let the shadow fall all the way down to whatever elements below level 1 and there you have it a nicely presented view with room color scheme in 3d everything stay updated to whatever changes you will make to your rooms and your room color scheme so practice this yourself subscribe to this channel for videos like this every single day and i'll see you in the next video